How's it going everyone? It's your boy Dak908 aka the Dig Dug himself and ladies and gents we are back with more Monster Hunter Generations and we are looking at Lunastra today. I know a lot of people out there are really excited. A lot of people who've been playing who have rather played Monster Hunter Freedom Unite or I think Freedom. I'm not sure if it actually uh, debuted in Freedom Unite or Freedom. I myself have never even played any of the second generation Monster Hunter games. I know I started on PlayStation 2 Monster Hunter, moved to Freedom, completely didn't get a chance to play any of the... the in between the second generation at all and then move right over to try why i was poor anyway enough of my financial situation today we're looking at lunastra of course now she was the next dlc monster actually come out and if you don't already know it's like the other half to teostra or teostra whatever you like to pronounce it as it matters not to i but um first before we need to fight in uh teostra excuse me lunastra and i'll tell you everything about her let me tell you what it takes to actually you know, acquire the means to get into this position I'm in right now, i.e. on fire and cursing the entire time. So, first you're going to come down to the trade yard, of course, and then you're going to go talk to Huntsman. The Huntsman's been like, yo, son, there's a Teostra out there somewhere in the wildfire ways. Don't want to play thug deals. We need you to go out there and handle it. I'm like, cool, bet. Don't worry about it. So, you go to your handler, and he gives you a quest called uh, Blazing Sun. It's... It's just the teal strip in the wild spiral ways. Nothing special, nothing flashy. I mean, they, they say he's part of the sword for one thing or another, but I mean, he's teal strip, you know, he, no health at all. So I beat him in like 13 minutes, you know, no problem. So after you get done flexing on teal strip, you come back to the huntsman. He's like, yo, my man, good job. But um, the smithy upstairs, he's making a whole lot of noise because see what my man's talking about. So you go up to the smithy, the smithy, smithy's like, yo, son, one of my mans out there just said that he's seen a teal strip, probably the same one you was just fighting in the special arena we need to go and handle that business i'm like square all right go up so you go to your handler again and you accept a quest called pandora's arena so you slide through and you get this immaculate cutscene And then you like, son, this Luna shit was good, son. Yo, we about to turn up. Hey, let's fight the sun. Oh, wait. Teal's for left and so did Nerg. Boom. But you know what else is boo? It's just a repel. Yo, you slap it a couple times. Boom, boom, boom. It's gone. But don't worry about it. After you complete this quest, though, you run back to the huntsman. He's like, yo, son, Teal's for blah. And then he gives you a quest to the handler. The handler, his quest is whatever. I can't remember. Uh, I didn't record that piece because I was running out of hard drive data. Uh, data space. I... My, my file sizes for these videos are huge, and it was up to like 40 gigs already. And I I I struggled like like 20 gigabytes of hard drive space like all times. Anyway, but yeah, that's that's what it takes to get to this particular situation. So uh, off the rip, let me tell you this: Lunastra is whew, tough, real tough. Probably the hardest Elder Dragon in this game, and I mean that, that it's easy to say that because all the Elder Dragons in this game are pretty 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 easy. Lunastra is not so much so. Uh, first thing I will say is that the Lunastra is immune to falling from flash bombs, not immune to being flash. You can flash a Lunastra and then she'll be, you know, confused with attacking in random sporadic patterns and what have you, but she will not fall from the sky. Uh, this was something I didn't learn up until, well, a little bit later once I actually decided that, well, it's clear that these flash pods are not working on Lunastra, so... That's another level of difficulty. If anything, was a crutch. I definitely fell onto that crutch, just like many other people who were playing this game. We were like, yo, Flash Bombs is super OP because you make him just kind of point it and go. Before Flash Bombs, you had to, like, stay still, kind of throw the bomb. The uh, the arc was a little different. Flash Bombs is, is super easy, super OP. So Lunatra is immune to the madness, well, to the, uh, the cancerous way of flashing an uh, Elder Dragon to death, especially once like to fly to get those free hits in. And because of that, it's you have to fight a bit more heads up now a head up fight with Lunastra is a bit tough because she she's not necessarily hardy well actually she is a little hardy it's kind of hard to really tell if she's hardy or not because uh she has very 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 good zoning very 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 good spacing meaning she controls the area around her to 
an insanely good degree. I mean, actually fighting Lunastra heads up or head to head is going to be a really tough thing to do. Uh, first things first, when you actually fight the Lunastra, you should totally like if you're going to engage a fight with Lunastra, drink a cold drink. Her blue flame actually uh, has this has this ability to just like just exhaust your life force much like being in a hot volcano would do uh, but this time it's actually a lot quicker than that like you you can seriously die uh from 150 health to straight zero in like 20 seconds maybe even sooner you know what i mean it, it's quick stuff and if you actually stand within the blue flame it's even more so so whenever you go to fight a lunisher take the cold drink to alleviate yourself from that heat exhaustion but uh if you're in that blue flame that blue flame will like no matter what bring you down quite a bit now i've been hearing talk of the fire mantle being the most used uh, and celebrated mantle when fighting the lunature i'm hard-headed i'll admit i'm very hard-headed i've yet to fight it with the fire mantle even though it's probably the best course of action simply because you're going to a lot of times you're going to be fighting lunature you're not going to be actually fighting her you're going to be fighting what she does that blue flame is very very powerful it's the spacing and the zoning i was telling you about she makes it to where you don't get close or don't want to get close you're worried more for your own self than you're actually worried about fighting the monster which is actually a a lot of people think is kind of cheap i think it's great the last monster to do something kind of similar to this was valazok but the only problem that valazok had was that valazok would never capitalize on the fact that you cut he cut your health in half if for whatever reason they they program it to where whenever your health is cut in half he kind of doesn't tend to target you as much especially if you're like in a party which i kind of found to be a little weird because you would think that with your health cut in half, all he would do is walk up and slap you, and he end you, and he can technically do that. He just doesn't tend to do so. But Lunastra, nah, ain't pulling no punches. She'll throw the blue. What she? Oh, I'm gonna show you this card. What she does a lot is she'll do her heat wave, where it's similar to a Tiestra Supernova, but he doesn't like curl up and jump in the sky and then huge out this, uh, let out this huge burst of energy. She just says, I've had it, throws her hands up, and boom, just huge amounts of heat just expelled in all directions for a very, very wide range, okay? If you're not caught in the initial, in the initial blast, the, the heat, the, the, ex the excess heat given off is exceedingly, like, wow. I mean, it's tremendous. That's, that's the, the best way I can really put it. It's just, it's just tremendous feeling. And you'll be, your health will tick, 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 tick really, really quickly. But what she will probably do is, She'll set out that, that heat wave, and then you'll be caught in the heat wave, and then you'll roll over, you know, because you've been hard knocked down. And because she set out the heat wave, there's blue flame everywhere. You will be sitting in blue flame. You're not going to die as you're on your back, but as soon as you stand up, you're caught in the blue flame anyway. On top of the blue flame, the excess heat from her experiencing the heat wave is still active. So you're, you're cooking. You're cooking and you're dying way fast, okay? The, I've carded to this a couple of times. It's, it's one of those attacks where it's like it can end you in, from full health because dodging it is, is next to, like, almost impossible. Um, and if you're, if, if you're in that particular situation, it's very, very hard to actually, not necessarily think in advance, but really hard to plan uh, an ex escape route accordingly when there's just blue fly fire excuse me, everywhere and you're just burning to death. So... She definitely spits that hot fire like honestly when it comes down to it like she is the toughest because she doesn't like to let you get close when it comes down to you actually fighting her the, the one of the more tougher things is that she's probably the hardest elder dragon to even stagger so you have to do a metric ton of damage to even cause her to stagger even get to get her knocked down because out of all the times that i fought her we don't really get the stagger too much we'll probably get a couple of knockdowns but we don't really get the stagger i mean usually when you fight an elder dragon you probably get a stagger for free like every like two or three minutes i mean it's almost nothing really when you think about it it's something that's so that you get grow so accustomed to that you don't even think about it but with lunatra not the case it's like bro she is giving me the whammy the entire time so um in a nutshell fire 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 lots of it blue flame is incredibly cheap uh but i like it so i like like to keep it that way um very respectable mo respectable monster play it you don't want to play it too safe because you play it too safe she'll throw out the blue flame and the blue flame will come and get you you have to check you have to play on your feet think quickly active proactive reflexes things like that and and you should be i'm not gonna say you'll be okay but you you'll eventually get it down it, it's 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 a war of attrition okay if you're not already super experienced in product in uh, fighting lunatic it's a little different from before from what i've heard but if you're not already like super adept at like adapting to drastic situations it might take you a little bit longer to actually get it down i mean you'll still win you'll probably get a couple cards in but uh it won't be as easy to like get it all the way down i'm not saying it's impossible but it's totally possible so that's my particular breakdown for lunatra let's look at everything else 
like her gear and stuff like that because uh, you know that stuff was kind of hot too so off the rip we're looking at the armor the alpha it has alpha and beta of course and first i want you guys to take note of if you didn't already know lunisha's weakest element is ice so if you go in there fighting lunisha with some ice you should be okay so moving over let's look at the skills that's the important stuff actually no let's take a step back the armor looks really dope it is akin to that of the tail Street a little bit you know what i mean but um for the most part it's kind of its own deal um, a lot of things that transition from the, you know, the Teal are just simply just like the cogs and the little shield or whatever, but I really like the headpiece. Regardless, skills time, yes. Okay, so, altogether, Alpha gives you wide range 4, health boost 3, blast attack 3, tool specialist, peak performance, and evade extender. Your set skills are stamina cap up, increases your stamina cap from 150 to like, I actually don't even know. Uh, <laughs> to, and then with 4 piece you get mind's eye slash ballistic, so... All in all, a very solid set all by itself. And the coolest thing about it is there are slots. There are lots of slots. And this is one of the few armor sets where the alpha isn't by all means just as good as the beta. Because if you look at the beta, uh, let's just give it a gander all the way down. Why don't we? The slots for the beta are just like, if anything, it's just one size smaller slot. You know what I mean? Like one size or one size larger, I should say. Um... In some cases, like the van braces is a little bit more drastic in the chest, you lose a full slot altogether, with the only three being uh, available, level ones, of course. And for the most part, it's just that. It, you, can, you can go either way with this. You can mix and match it to your to your heart's content. Me, what I would probably do is probably go all alpha and then just have the beta because it, you lose a whole two slaughter and you just get boom. And then you're still really good. I mean, it's just, it's just good. It's just a good set, has great abilities, great... Um, great slots and everything else now the real juicy bit about the lunastra is not the armor it's the weapons oh no it's the weapons that everyone's interested in looking at we're going to the lance because i'm biased of course so all the way down to the bottom the very very bottom i should say lunastra's weapons are very interesting lunastra's weapons are you can make the raw weapon natural white sharpness that's beautiful that's fine look at it it's great it's beautiful right but if you slide over, boom, you upgrade it and it gets a bit more affinity, attack stays the same, a little bit more blast. But, notice it says blaze. If you look over at the tree some more, oh, not necessarily the tree, but if you look at it, it says blaze. And it gives a little bit more blast or whatever. Guts. At the very bottom, this weapon will give you a skill for free. Guts is the ability, uh, the set skill, I should say, that Basil Goose will give you. So, by infusing it with Basil Goose material, or gem, if you will, you'll get... Guts as a skill. So you have all the skills you had before, plus guts. Same holds true for Nergigante. You do the same thing. It even changes the, the way the weapon looks a, a bit. Gets more attack, still the same natural white sharpness, blast of course, and then at the very bottom you get haste and recovery, infuse it with a Nergigante gem. Bottom out some more, and if you infuse the lance with a, uh, what's it called? Xeno gem, you get razor sharp. So you get razor sharp on some natural white. This is probably going to be the most popular choice by far. I mean, it's the one that I'm going to be using off the bat as well. Um, you do lose out a little bit on like attack, whatever, but you get a bit more, a bit of get more, a bit of that, a bit more element. You get razor sharp, which is broken, and then you get your mad slots. So honestly, Lunastra armor is looking very strong, coupled with its weapons, is looking very, very strong. And this holds true to not just the lance, but all the weapons, of course. All the weapons out there, it's the same joint. You'll have your main weapon, then you can infuse it with the different gems, and get those really cool set abilities right there. So for the most part, that's pretty much the Lunastra, in a nutshell. Uh, that's basically all I can give you in terms of the Lunastra, like, off the rip. And uh, hopefully you guys found the video relatively informative. If I missed anything, let me know. I know I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I missed something. Okay, it's, it's not in my nature to not not miss something. I be missing things, okay? And that's okay, though, because I'm not some super profesh guy. I'm just, just some guy. But anyway, as some guy, I just want you guys to know that I appreciate your continued support and hope to see you on the next video. Um, I was going to do my whole week up thing, but Lunasure coming out kind of threw a wrench in that per, uh, particular regard. So we're going to have to not necessarily back it up some more, but we're going to have to reevaluate how I was going to do things prior because I obviously want to grind the heck out of Lunatra. I'm trying to make all these lances and all the gun lances and all the armor. But anyway, it's been your boy Dak908, aka the Digger Dig himself. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not going to let you guys watch the entire video because I'll admit I didn't cart during this video. Not at all, didn't cart. However, it was a 36 minute fight because Lunatra does not play nice or play nice. And if you're going here fighting Lunatra with just like 
no element or no rule come prepared okay i didn't really come prepared i brought my, my standard measure of stuff came here with my favorite armor and my favorite weapon and i didn't die it just took a very very long time so come in here optimized use your ice use your dragon etc and do what it takes to take down the lunister so that way you're not like me taking 36 minutes yo it was a it was a 33 minute fight 26 minutes on the lunister alone and then like five minutes or whatever the heck was left on the teaser teaser fell over like a, like a sack of potatoes but anyway it's been your boy. You all take care.